For decades, Mars has guarded its secrets beneath windswept sands. NASA searched, the Soviets tried, Europe stumbled, and still, the red planet remained silent, but not empty. Every probe that touched its surface came back with scraps of data, whispers of oceans long gone, hints of something that once breathed across its barren plains. But none of it was conclusive. Mars seemed determined to bury its past, until now. In 2021, a new player entered the story. For the first time in history, China reached the Martian surface with a rover of its own. Its name, Zhurong. Its mission, to search not just the surface, but beneath it. And what it found could change everything. Hidden under the sands of Utopia Planitia were signs of oceans, floods, even snowstorms. And perhaps the strongest evidence yet that Mars was alive far longer than we imagined. But here's the twist. What if NASA already saw these signs decades ago and accidentally destroyed them? This isn't just a story about geology. It's about rivalry, survival, and the possibility that life on Mars may have slipped through our fingers. Subscribe now, because what you're about to hear may rewrite the story of Mars forever. The search for Mars has always been a race against silence. In 1971, the Soviet Union became the first nation to land on Mars. Their Mars 3 spacecraft touched down, sent a single grainy photo, and died within seconds. A fleeting victory quickly swallowed by the dust. In 1976, NASA's Viking landers made history. They operated for years, capturing the first detailed panoramas of the Martian surface and conducting bold biological experiments. For the first time, humanity dared to ask, is there life here? Then came failure. In 2004, Britain's Beagle 2 vanished after touchdown, later discovered half-deployed, powerless under the Martian sun. Through triumphs and tragedies, one fact remained. Only NASA could truly tame the red planet. Spirit, opportunity, curiosity, perseverance, America's robotic pioneers became legends, rewriting textbooks one crater at a time. But then came a seismic shift. In 2020, China launched the Tianwen-1 mission, one spacecraft that would orbit Mars, deploy a lander, and release a rover, all on the very first attempt. No nation had ever tried to do all three at once. When Zhurong touched down in May 2021, history changed. Only two nations had ever operated a rover on Mars, the United States and now China. This wasn't just a scientific breakthrough. It was geopolitical. A new space race had begun. And almost immediately, Mars began to give up secrets it had hidden for billions of years. Utopia Planitia, a vast plain stretching across Mars's northern hemisphere. To the untrained eye, it looks desolate. But beneath that silence lies history. This was where Zhurong descended. Unlike NASA's high-tech sky cranes and airbag systems, China used a method reminiscent of Viking in the 1970s. First, a parachute straining against the planet's thin air, then retro rockets firing in unison. Finally, four shock-absorbing legs touched the Martian ground. For the first time in history, a Chinese spacecraft stood intact on Mars, the second nation to ever do so. Zhurong wasn't just a rover, it was a detective. Panoramic cameras captured Mars in never-before-seen resolution. Laser spectrometer blasted rocks with energy, revealing their hidden chemistry. And most importantly, ground-penetrating radar, GPR. For the first time on Mars, scientists could see beneath the surface layer by layer, like peeling back the pages of a buried book. The discoveries came quickly. First, hydrated minerals. Rocks infused with water locked inside their crystal structure. Not the dry, dead Mars many had expected. Then, something stranger. Beneath the surface, Zhurong detected 76 layers tilted northward. These weren't random. They looked exactly like ancient coastlines formed by water flowing into a vast northern ocean. That wasn't all. The radar revealed two massive flood events. The first around 3 billion years ago when scientists believed Mars had already dried up. 
The second, 1.6 billion years ago, shockingly recent in planetary terms. And then came the most dramatic clue of all. On the dunes surrounding the rover, Zhurong's instruments found a hard, salty crust, as if water had soaked the sand and evaporated, leaving behind a cement-like shell. The crust was only centimeters deep, but its age was startling, around 400,000 years ago. To put that into perspective, when Neanderthals and early humans were roaming Earth, snowstorms may have been falling on Mars. This changes everything. For decades, scientists believed Mars's water vanished over three billion years ago, a short-lived blue planet quickly reduced to dust. But Zhurong revealed something else. Mars was alive with water much longer than anyone thought. And if water lingered, so too might life. Microbes clinging to minerals, hiding in briny films beneath the soil, enduring for millions of years. Here's where history comes back to haunt us. In 1976, NASA's Viking landers ran a series of life detection experiments. They scooped Martian soil, added nutrient-rich water, and waited. The soil responded, producing bursts of carbon dioxide. Life, perhaps. But when scientists added more water, the reaction faded. Their conclusion, false alarm. Yet decades later, some researchers suggested a darker possibility. Viking may have found real Martian microbes and drowned them. If true, the first aliens we ever discovered may have died in our hands before we even understood them. Zhurong's discoveries reopen this mystery. If Mars had water as recently as 400,000 years ago, then microbial life might still exist beneath its crust. But here's where the story takes a darker turn. Not everyone believes China's discoveries. Some Western scientists argue Zhurong's radar is prone to noise, that dust storms distort the signal, that the layers could be illusions. Without peer-reviewed global access to the raw data, skeptics remain unconvinced. Politics makes it worse. Since 2011, U.S. law, known as the Wolf Amendment, has barred NASA from direct collaboration with China's space agency. That means two nations exploring the same planet, yet refusing to share their findings. It's not just science, it's geopolitics. And then came silence. In May 2022, Zhurong entered hibernation to survive a massive dust storm. Engineers expected it to wake months later. It never did. As of today, the rover lies silent on the Martian plain, its panels buried under dust, its secrets unfinished. So the question lingers. Is Mars really hiding oceans and storms, or did China's instruments trick us? Did we glimpse the truth or a mirage painted in sand? Stick with us, because what comes next could be the boldest move Mars has ever seen. China isn't done, far from it. By 2028, China plans to return to Mars, this time with a mission to bring soil samples back to Earth. If successful, it would mark the first Martian samples ever studied in human laboratories. NASA and the European Space Agency also plan a joint sample return mission. But delays, budget overruns, and technical challenges mean their launch window has slipped into the 2030s. That leaves China with a chance to strike first. The stakes? Monumental. A single scoop of Martian soil could confirm traces of ancient microbes. It could reshape planetary protection protocols, forcing us to reconsider the risks of contaminating Earth with alien biology. It could shift the balance of power in global space exploration, proving that the future of planetary science may not belong to the United States alone. And beyond samples, there's a larger vision. Mars is the testing ground for human settlement. Whoever masters its soil, water, and atmosphere first may lead the next chapter of human civilization. So what if China brings back the first proof of life beyond Earth? Would humanity celebrate together or fracture into suspicion and rivalry? What if buried in a tiny Martian rock lies the answer to the oldest question in history? Are we alone? Mars has always been a planet of silence. It buried its oceans, it buried its storms, it may even have buried its life, but silence cannot last forever. China's Zhurong rover showed us glimpses of a planet still whispering, still holding onto memories of water and warmth. 
a planet that may not be as dead as we once believed. Yet the story isn't about one rover, one nation, or one discovery. It's about humanity's restless drive to uncover the truth. The real question is this. When Mars finally speaks, when its secrets are laid bare, will we be ready to listen? If you want to be here when the answers arrive, subscribe now because this is only the beginning.